once you have true mapped your data and played around with the colors to show off the different phases, then we're ready to now export the data. The montage data can be extremely large in terms of pixels and the software has a habit of smoothing data uh, to try and reduce the, the file size. But when we've acquired relatively small step sizes, we don't really want to digitally smooth the data because that means we're losing uh, resolution uh, from our data. So it's important that we export at the resolution that we acquired at. So to find out how many pixels, which we can see if we zoom in, uh, in this case the pixels are a couple of microns across, we can find out how many pixels are actually in this image if we right click and go to details and it's 983 by 576. We can then go to export settings, input those numbers, 576, and we can save that image, although we have a scale bar, which we can see down here. We also want to know, in this case, in this layered image, what are, what do the different colors represent? So we need to show a color key color key and now we can see that green is magnesium, sodium is blue etc. If we save that as a TIFF file we can see that we get the montage data with the different coloured elements and where spectra that we've extracted from the element map where they are located. We may also want to export without spectral locations. So if we go to show acquisition areas, show none, right click, export settings. We can keep all of the settings the same. Press save as. And save. And we can then check that we have the same image without any of the spectral locations annotated on it. To export the individual element maps for each of the elements that we've selected, we can right click on the montage map data, batch export, EDS maps, we'll have them as TIFFs, we'll use the image export settings, we want to select the montage map data, we find the location that we want to save the data to and then we can say start. It's asking me again that there's other TIFF files in there. I know they're named differently so we're not going to overwrite them so I say OK. And if we go and look in The data we can see that now we have individual element maps. This one's for aluminium, gold, etc. Uh, 